Right. Okay, good morning everyone and welcome and good to work with you again. Um, as we said last time we were together, we're going to look at writing moderation today and continue our work around that. What we want to do first of all is just to reiterate and go back over some of our understanding, some of the beliefs uh, at the back of our work and um, looking at why we moderate and as we've said that it's to monitor individual student progress toward the achievement of VAL standards in English and moderation also helps us identify the range of student learning development and needs in our classrooms and at team and whole school level. It is important that individual classroom teachers do know their students and can analyse their, their students' work to inform their planning and their teaching. But as we've said in the past, it's really important that at team level and school level that we are moderating together and developing shared understandings. And that not only shared understandings, but a language to describe and to discuss student progress. The other reason we moderate is to support the achievement of valid and consistent judgments. And looking at using the continuum for moderation, uh, this is a continuation of work that began two years ago in late 2006, early 2007, working with a small primary school and then across a range of schools represented at professional learning across uh, last year during 2007 and 8. And what we found by using the continuum as well as using the standards and progression points, it, it deepens our understandings of the uh, English writing domain and it provided us with additional evidence based indicators and those indicators help us analyse student writing data to a deeper level. And because of that additional um, evidence that we gather, that detail helps to inform our teaching and learning experiences for individuals and groups. And later on this, this morning I'd like to get some feedback about whether you feel that that is the situation uh, with you working with the continuum back in your schools and whether there is that additional information coming forward to inform your practice. And what we're wanting to do is to support the achievement of consistent teacher judgments for you as professional learning leaders in your schools to take back and continue your work in the school. But also as we moderate together to actually get understandings and consistent judgments across all of NMR. And we have 17 schools here today involved in that and then next week we'll have as many again. So our pieces that we moderate today will be cross-moderated with other AIZ schools next um, week and that will help us get that uh, shared understanding, the shared dialogue, the shared information about our teaching and learning in schools. So our task for today is cross-moderation to achieve that validity that I've mentioned. And as we've talked about before, the power is in the shared teacher dialogue and in the gathering of evidence to inform our explicit teaching. And that's one of the really the key things. You do want to know for your reporting to parents the standard or progression point that you can reliably inform parents about. But the other part of it is the information that we get as teachers and from that we know what we need to focus the teaching and learning for on for individuals and for groups of students and we're focusing on what will move the student forward. We're not looking, we're, we're not looking at a deficit model, we're looking at a positive model acknowledging what the student can do and then focusing on what we need to uh, work with them um, on to move them forward and develop them further as writers. So uh, from there, just to explain our task for today, thank you for those people who have provided pieces of writing. And on your table you'll see some sheets that I would ask you to fill out as you discuss and as you make decisions about these pieces of writing. On this side we have acknowledging what the student can do and why we feel that the standard or progression point is being achieved and the evidence for that achievement. And on this side some of the information that we feel needs to be further addressed. That's our teaching information to support the development of the student. 
at the end of the session this morning we'll gather all of these together and then from there as I said next week with our other 20 or so primary schools we'll cross moderate.